What's up? I'm Jacob Blitzio, your Elixir mentor. Today we are going to use JavaScript event listeners to synchronize the scrolling behavior between our two text areas, the line numbers that are dynamically added, and then the just input text area. Let's uh, spin up our project and we'll quickly demonstrate the problem that we need to solve in this video. So let's first make sure our Docker container uh, for our Postgres is running. Mine is, if yours isn't, go ahead and press play. And then let's go ahead and open up our terminal, CD into our project. Mine is in documents, develop Elixir mentor, and then Elixir gist. And then we can just do mix space PHX dot server. All right, now we are running and we can go to our local host, port 4000. And uh, we have to log in, ignore the ugliness because we are going to be fixing this UI. My login is jacob at elixirmentor.com and then elixir mentor for the password. And there we go, we are logged in. And then if we go ahead and start typing in our text area here, you'll remember our numbers, you know, dynamically change and for each line, but then it stops when we hit the bottom. So it doesn't scroll when our text input area scrolls. We can solve this with event listeners. And every time one of our text areas scroll, we can set the other text area top equal to the one scrolling. So let's go ahead and just jump right in and get our project opened up. All right, I'm going to go ahead and expand the assets directory and our JS directory. And we're opening up our app.js file again, where we added our update line numbers hook last time. We want to grab references from the DOM of our two text areas. So if we hop over to our create uh, gist live html.hex file, which is in library elixir gist web uh, live, and then our create gist live.html.hex file, you'll remember our IDs. We have line numbers, and then we have our gist text area. So we're going to use those IDs to grab references from our DOM here. So kind of like we did in update line numbers, we're grabbing the reference with the ID here. We're going to want to do that for our line numbers text area as well. And we're going to just do this directly underneath our input listener and we can grab our gist text area within our inside our hook with just a this dot l okay just like above and now we're going to add an event listener and this event listener is going to be uh listening for the scroll event and then comma opening closing parentheses we're not passing in our arguments and then equal greater than, and then go ahead and do opening, closing curly braces. And then let's finish off this function with a uh, closing parentheses. And I just realized I accidentally put a closing parentheses after our the event we're listening to, which we do not want. And then we're going to do our code inside this function here. Okay, and we want to reference our line numbers text area just like we did in our update line numbers function. So let's just go ahead and do constant line number text equals, and then we can do that with document dot uh, query selector, and then opening and closing parentheses, and then inside of quotations, we need to do, do a hashtag and then the ID of the element we're grabbing which is line dash numbers. And now this allows us to grab this element from the DOM so we have access to it. Now that we're inside of our scroll event listener, when the scroll event for this element is called, we just need to set the scroll top property of line numbers text area, which in this case is our line number text. 
and we need to set that equal to the value of our gist text area. So we're going to do this line number text. So we're grabbing that constant dot and then scroll top is a parameter of this object. And we're going to set this equal to our gist text area. And we have access to our gist already from within this hook. So we just do this dot element and then we can say scroll top. And then so now every time that our gist element scrolls, it's going to set the line number text area to the same top. So this setup ensures that when we scroll our gist text area, the line number text area scrolls in sync, allowing our line numbers to stay aligned with our gist input text. So let's see this in action and jump over to our browser. If your project still isn't running, just CD into the project and run mix uh, space phx.server to spin up your server. And now when we enter some text here, whoop. all right, so I'm just gonna type and type and type and type and type and type. And now when we get to the bottom here, when we get past 18, we should see it scroll. And look at that, that is pretty cool. So now when we scroll, even when we're done typing, it still stays in sync with our input, which is pretty dope. So we attacked a small but tricky issue, ensuring as we type and scroll through our gist input, the line numbers keep pace, making our project a little more interactive and user friendly. As always, if you need help or want to check out the solutions, check out that GitHub link in the description. Join my Discord server, Elixir Mentor, if you have questions or just want to hang out and chat. That link is in the description as well. If you want to learn how to build scalable, production-ready, full-stack, and REST API solutions, hit that subscribe button now. I'm Jacob Litzo, your Elixir Mentor. See you in the next video.